In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clear overlay so students can't, or whoever you're sharing your Google Slides with, can't just click through. Um, it's another option if you want to use multiple pages in your slides. I prefer the one page method and then just hiding the rest of the slides so they can't click through, but there are occasions when you need to use more than one slide. So you can see here that I have text. That's what I want the students to click. So I'm going to double check that that's on top. So anything we want students to be able to access needs to be right on top of this overlay and we'll add that in just a second. So if I right click on that box, go to order, I'm just double checking. It won't let me choose bring to the front, which means it's already at the front. So that's perfect. So the next thing I need to do is to draw a rectangle and I can go to the shapes tool on the toolbar here and go to rectangle. You could also go to insert shapes. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle, basically matching the whole slide. Okay. And for some reason that didn't want to work. Let's try it again. Being a little finicky today. That's okay. We are understanding of those things. Okay. So now you can see that my slide is actually, excuse me, the overlay is white and that's not what we want it to look like. We want to send this back a layer so the only thing we're going to see is what the student should be clicking. So if we right click on here, then go to order, then send backward. So that would take it one layer down. You send it to the back, it goes all the way to the background and everything else will be on top of it. So remember, you only want what you want students to click on top of this layer. So I'm going to send it backward. So again, I can see this text is what I actually want them to be able to click. So this is where I want my layer. So what I need to do is a couple things. First, I wanna link this layer to the same slide so that if they do click somewhere else, they don't move forward, it keeps them on the same slide. So again, I'm gonna right click. You can also use Control or Command K. Go to link and then slides in this presentation. So let's see here. And this is slide one, so I'm going to go ahead and choose slide one, apply, and then I'm going to turn this layer clear. So I'm going to go up here to my fill color, change it to transparent, and change the border color to transparent. I apologize for the dog barking, that's the story of my life here. Um, so now if I go to present, you'll be able to see that, so I have this, my icon turned to the hand, so if I click anywhere, so I'm clicking all over the place here. It's not taking me anywhere. But if I go to Monday, it will take me back to Monday. So let me show you how to do it one more time, just to make sure that you got it. I'm gonna use keystrokes on this one. So again, I go to layer two, and the things that I want them to be able to access are these um, icons here. Oops, don't wanna move that. So I'm gonna try to just, uh, select all of these and i'm going to do command shift up arrow because that brings it to the front same thing command shift up or control shift up control shift up so those are now on top so i'm going to draw my clear overlay guess i should call it an overlay before i actually make it clear and then oh i just realized i'm going to draw it then i'm going to move it because i want my go home icon on top too, so they can click that as well. So that's fine if it's over the size of it. For some reason, it's not wanting to work on the first try. That explore button I think is getting in my way. That happens, it's all okay. And it always can be larger than the slide, that's not a big deal. Okay, so um, as I said, I'm just gonna move it off to the side because I wanna make sure that this is on top as well so let's see here perfect so because i moved that up it's showing on the top but if i right click now and do order send backward now i'm gonna have to do this a couple times to get all three of those so those are the only links that i want them to be able to click again i'm going to now link this layer to slide two because that's the slide that i'm on so go ahead and link Slides in this presentation. Apologize that it's so far down there. 
apply, and now let's turn it clear. All right, so that should work if you want to be using multiple slides and you don't want students just advancing through. Hopefully you found that useful in your Bitmoji classroom creation or any other slides presentation that you might need to be making.